Hi guys, just going to do a quick little video about some techniques and tools for doing electrical rough in on ICF walls. Um, most all the brands of ICF are similar enough that this will work. Uh, you may have to tweak it just a little bit, but um, I know there's lots of uh, techniques out there that are really time consuming and likewise there are some tools that are pretty costly and I don't see either one of them being necessary. So just thought I'd share with you what I've learned. So first off, the box that I use, um, buy these at Menards, there's lots of places to get them. Um, but it is this box here, I don't know if you can see that tag. Um, but anyways, it's an ideal size. This um, nailing flange here on it works really well. Um, and they're really inexpensive and easy to come by. So you'll see that and uh, that's worked well for me. Um, another thing is a homemade tool. You'll see these for hundreds of dollars. Um, this is a Sears soldering gun that uh, I think was uh, $14 about 15 years ago. Um, you'll notice it's, it normally has a tip out here for soldering. Took these screws out, took the soldering tip out, took a piece of number nine wire and bent this um, the shape and size I wanted and um, you know spent nothing, just used stuff laying around and uh, even if you don't have this stuff it's pretty inexpensive compared to the tools that you can buy that do the same thing but cost hundreds of dollars. Um, I'll show you what, how I use that here in a minute. Um, another tool, um, this is a um, cheap electric chainsaw uh, that came from Menards. I think it was $29 or $39 or something. Um, electric is really good for indoor use. I can tell you from experience, uh, you won't like it if you use your gas chainsaw and you're gagging on the fumes. Um, any wheel will work, a lawnmower, wheel, whatever. I actually, for this one, uh, went to our shed and found a training wheel off of my kids' bikes. They don't use training wheels anymore, so that was a wheel I could grab. Drilled a hole in the bar and bolted this wheel to the bar. Um, there's lots of guys have different ideas about how deep the wire should be in the block. Uh, that's a whole nother discussion, but however deep you want it, you set the distance between the wheel and the end of the blade of the chainsaw here, and that'll set your depth. Um, so, to the techniques. Um, so, what I do, I've just taken a scrap of wood, um, I've made it the size and shape that I want my boxes, and it really helps me to go lay out where I want the boxes, lay it up there, trace around it with a Sharpie, back off and take a look, make sure I like the layout before we start quiddling on ICF. But, now this is cold, so it's going to take a second to heat up. Um, but here we go. Just put it where you want, the top of your box, squeeze the trigger, give it a minute to warm up. The warmer it gets, the faster it'll go. And you can see it warming up and melting through the polystyrene. Now I got the as deep as I wanted and I'm putting a little bit of down pressure on it. And it's going down. And then get to the bottom and now I'm going to pull it out towards me. So, bottom being inexpensive cut there. Now this box, I've set it up so this is the anchoring strip in the ICF and there you go. Now I like to put a screw in there when I'm done to help secure it, but that tab actually will push in the foam and hold pretty good. 
until you're ready to put the screw in. Um, now as far as cutting the wire channel, you can see here this is one that I've cut and uh, you know the Romex, you can use a paint stick or a shim or whatever just to poke it in there a little bit but it pokes in and stays real nice. Um, but as far as cutting that channel, switch the cord over here to a chainsaw or a little electric chainsaw. Get her set the height we want it here. And you saw how that is 20 times faster than doing that whole thing with a hot knife. Um, now as far as the wire goes, you'll do yourself a giant favor if you'll set yourself up some kind of a reel so that the wire comes off flat and straight. If you're pulling it out of the side of the coil, it has all them kinks in it, uh, it'll be, take you a lot more time to get it straightened out and pushed in the the kerf there. So I come over about oh, eight inches or so past my box, cut that, and this is where we've got uh, power coming into this box and uh, going to an outlet, and then likewise power going out of the box to the next outlet. Well, maybe just a little more wire. You can always trim off a little extra. A whole lot easier than if you wish you had just a little more. Use the wide end of the shin that works a lot better. So you can see I've got that all poked in there where I want. Whoops, my screw gun's over here. Be right back. Put one screw through that nailing flange into the ICF anchor strip. And we'll curl those out of the way of the sheet rockers. Bingo, there we go. So, Hope that helps you all and uh, saves you money, saves you time. Thanks, bye.